They say the revolution will not be televised. Well, they must have been watching the wrong television channel. This right here is Opie Television. Welcome to Artisphere. My name is Poza Joe Lunga. Before casual conversation, you can simply call me Joe. Breaking and entering into our sacred space. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming us into your sacred space. Today, we're talking about that bread, that butter, that cheese, that one thing that makes us come alive. For some, artistic expressions equals artistic life. For others, bread and butter is artistic expression. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, joining us today are the gentlemen of Blase Blah. How are you, sir? What's up? How are you doing? I'm going to ask you guys to please introduce yourselves for people that don't know you at home. I'm going to start right over there, sir. Name is Kwale. That's what's up. Amazing, a slum intellect. Yo, I'm Luna Kill. I'm Snetem. Can you ask? <laughs> Can you ask? Now, Oz is actually the founder of Blase Blah. My brother, tell me, how did the vision begin? Um, essentially, it started out in like 20, 2011. Mm -hmm. I started, like, started the whole thing as a group of performers. And uh, <clears throat> from there, yeah, I just like, decided to actually go into business and actually do it like full time. Yeah. Because um, everybody like, that I worked with back in the day was like super talented and everything else. And then from that point, we were like, we can do this, man. Like, it's easy to do it in South Africa. Nobody's doing what we're doing. We have a beatbox, a vocalist, and you know, instrumentalists, different kinds of people around us. They actually like are doing great things in the industry. Mm -hmm. So we decided to actually put it together and understand the business side of the art, and not just understand the art of yeah. the business. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like that's where it started because we had this vision of mm -hmm. being great, yeah. and the vision is still alive today, still moving forward. You it, yeah, you mentioned that you work with a lot of vocalists, yeah. beatboxers, you know, killer lyricists, etc. Uh, Luna Kill, tell me what your affiliation is with Blase Blah. Um, well, Blase Blah, we just worked together at RMR out here in Rhodes, so we were signed under Blase Blah. And uh, I was kind of like what we did on the microphone, so that's, that's how we got affiliated with Blase Blah, me and these two guys over here. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Amazing, how do you feel about working with creative minds? Because you're a creative yourself. How, how, how does that gel? Because energies can either clash <coughs> or be in sync. Hey, this is hip hop, yo. Energies don't clash, you battle. That's what it is. Lyrics clash. You know, energies, you're not out here catching emotions. You just we battle. You got a beef with someone, you battle them, and that's it, that's settled, then you can move on. We're not out here trying to be nothing else, but yeah, it's dope having like dudes that that, that, are, that are lyrical, because mm. essentially that's that's what we're trying to get. That's what that's where we're trying to move with this thing. Like, yeah, work with someone who's gonna throw in the right lyrics and have those punchlines, killer flows, and whatnot, and make that thing happen. Tell me about the thought process of trying to create a cipher, or before the actual cipher. How does one think about lyrical content, subject matter, the creation of what is known as hip hop or the rap? Starts in the mind, eh? Like your thoughts, your perspective about life and the world. See a lot about what you're gonna say on the microphone. Like <clears throat> a lot of people, I mean, like a lot of people right now follow like the generic trend of like, so-called hip hop, yeah. which is really like poppy, like mm -hmm. hip hop, right? And then um, due to that, I mean, like we sit here all the time, you know, like kind of dissing commercial acts, mm -hmm. like in our own personal space, because we find it funny that they say they're doing hip hop, but they're not really doing hip hop. Yeah, they're just doing flip flop. Some degree. It's oh, like snap. Okay. So like the problem you look at like the paradigm of the world right now, like how everybody's got a collective consciousness to promoting negativity. Yeah. And how, you know, if you're gonna be a lyrical MC entering the game of hip hop right now and you say something, it's gonna help somebody grow and you're deemed as irrelevant. Mm. So I mean it's it's a, it's a type of consciousness that comes with your perspective and how you view the world at the end of the day. So yeah. Yeah. it's about it's about knowing yourself really. Yeah. Like, if you if you can identify yourself and, and you can define who you are as whatever you are and where you want to get in life, then it's, it's very easy to become an MC because then it, bec it becomes easier to put pen to pad because you already got half of the work done. Now you just have to master how to make words rhyme, get a rhythm on it and, and, and all that. Yeah. But essentially, like, most of the time when we're, we're, we're chilling, like, when we chop it up, we're building, like, 
it's never just we, we don't just talk about rap we're building about things about life really like yeah. Yeah, because you have to grow as a, exactly you have to you grow to. as a person in order yeah. to grow as a lyricist crazy take me through the creative process <laughs> a lot of people always question this kind of ideology of ciphers and they've changed over the years unfortunately mm. how is it you are standing in the middle of a stage in fact let's say a street corner it's dark there's only one kind of light. It's probably the moon. I don't know. And everybody is out here spitting <coughs> rhymes for days. Is that from the heart? Is it written? Is it thought out in that moment? Tell me the truth about that. It's basically what you've mentioned. It's like that. You can spit a freestyle. Yeah. Off, if, the, top. off the top. To show your skill. You can spit what you've written. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's basically like that. Yeah. It's, it's changed. So the yeah. assumption that... Uh, MCs that walk into spaces that are already sacred and people are already doing that little rhyme situation The assumption that they have it in their minds and they just kind of letting it out is not always true no. Sometimes some are prepared, right? Some, some dudes are prepared sometimes sometimes like it depends like ciphers have changed like it's not like they have Exactly. Like it's not like back in the day where you had to come like off a freestyle. Yes. Yeah. But at the same time, there are still dudes who can do that. Like sometimes, sometimes dudes cipher and 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 you have people throwing words out. Like all right, dudes freestyling and rapping and whatnot, and then they'll just randomly throw a word, and you have to pick that up and jump on it and rap on it like that. Like it gets crazy. But then with the freestyling thing, it's 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 it's, it's yeah, got a lot to do with the cool, mood. That's called the catching mood. another MC. Another exactly. MC messes up or throws a word there. You just got to pick it up and just rap from that word that he threw in the cipher. Yeah. Exactly. So. What kind of subject matter do you handle the most? Um, I'm, I'm old. Violence. Grimy. Gully. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, in your face kind of rap. Yeah. You know, that's my subject matter. Yeah. Do you and want... politics sometimes. Is it? Yeah. Tell me about, like, political affiliations right now. Because when you look at how South Africa is looking, how do you then kind of write a good lyrical rap expressing the inequalities within the political system right now? Because, I mean, our politics right now, we have politicians who are celebrities. Mm. What's your take on that? I think it's like one of the political like subject in hip-hop. It's very sensitive. One. It's a narrative that's been there for a long time. We've been talking about the same thing over and over. I mean, like what's happening right now is kind of like told by Udu me back in 2009. Like, the problem with the world is that, or like South Africa right now, is that people support people, not ideas. Yeah. yeah but, and then we touch base with the fact of, I mean, like with the, with the point of hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop is, was built on an idea. Mm. It, it's music for, like, like maybe for revolution. Mm. I don't know if you get the point, but now it's turned into, like, a playground for anybody to just do whatever they feel like they can do and then, like, degrade the culture mm -hmm. and then move on because it's all about money. Yeah. Or whatever. So like, um, with the politics, I think it's the same thing. Like when you write about politics, you have to write from a point. From I write from a point of, um, not trying to be personal about the whole experience yeah. of what I'm going through as a, as a South African in South Africa. But I'm writing from a point of, but I don't have sides, and it, like everybody's guilty to me because for me to vote for you and 20 years into democracy, we're still like stuck on stupid, come on, endorsing the same people yeah. who actually put us in the, like, in, in the place in the first place, come on. Yeah. Doesn't really say a lot. That's why people are actually leading themselves now, come on. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Julius, it was easy for, like, or Julius Malema to actually just like do their own thing because mm -hmm. there is no way forward for us as like um, a generation of kids or babies, come on. We are taught to conform, we are taught to follow, but we can't follow because the realities of South Africa are facing us in our face right now. I mean, look at Gramstown. It's affluence and poverty, yeah. hand in hand. In the same you know spectrum, I mean? very, very well so put now, out there. You tackle those topics. People yeah. say that you're, you're, you're angry, you're emotional, you're abstract or whatever. Yeah. But people don't listen. Mm -hmm. They listen to music with their eyes, not their ears. One word to define Can hip hop, you? each and every one of you. Who wrote the dictionary? I don't know. Exactly. Each and every one of you. Okay. Hypothetically, I know, but just give me one word. Define hip hop. Define hip hop, G. Aren't you with a deep voice trying to be silent? Talk. <laughs> One word. Yeah. Metaphors. It's that rhythm, that rhyme, that beat, that sound. Keep it locked right here on Autosphere. Uh, what's coming up next is Oppy Street with the lovely Zimkita, one of the ladies of Autosphere. And straight after that, we have a chart show by Tunetu. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>